Hey everybody, I just got back from Cabo, hence my very cheesy attire. This is also Corona themed. It was a bachelorette party, so I had to get like the goofiest souvenirs. Yeah, I just got back. I just watched the Climate and Seasons feature highlight and I have not yet read the... Did I say I watched the feature? I watched the video, but I have not yet read the actual feature highlight itself. So let's get into it. I'm gonna try to keep this a little bit brief because I feel like all my videos are long. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too long. All right. In City Skylines, maps had different themes that changed the visual atmosphere and environment to represent different climates, but maps using the same theme would work the same, meaning two boreal cities would represent the same climate or length of day. In City Skylines 2, we have replaced that system with a whole new feature in the form of climates. It brings changing seasons to the game and makes each map a unique gaming experience with its own climate that is based on real world locations ranging from the Finnish countryside in the north to Brisbane in the south. Climate controls the changing seasons, length of day, and weather patterns so they match the seasons and latitude of the map. Now it's interesting because they bring in map themes here, but it's just the boreal European temperate, I forget all the, the options, and tropical, right? But they aren't addressing the ones that we'd get from the workshop that change the textures on the map. So I still don't know if that's ever gonna be addressed, if that's something that we'll still be able to do or not. I guess we're gonna have to see. I'm super excited about climate. It's cool that it's not just about the time of year or weather, but the, there's more to it. I know we get seasons now. I have a lot to say about that. Well, we'll see. And I like that the location really does affect the weather and everything else so that's really cool climates are based on latitude and longitude resulting in differences in the length of day and amount of sunlight as well as other elements such as temperature range amount of cloud coverage and precipitation so that means all maps will have different climates. So I guess if we make a map, we can literally pick the exact location that we want it to be in and we'll get something super unique for it. I wanna know if these climates can be more specific or not because won't the latitude and longitude generally determine the biome, which would then affect the climate? Or like, is climate separate from biome? You know what I mean? Maybe we'll find out more, but I am curious about like the sorts of flora and fauna that are gonna show up on our maps and the textures of the map itself of course like even within similar climates the actual aesthetic of the location might be different so i hope they say more about that soon there's three basic climate types that act as a foundation for each map's unique characteristics there's temperate climate which has distinct seasonal changes moderate precipitation and a wide temperature range maps with the continental climate introduce significant annual variations in temperature and then polar regions which feature a short and cold summer and a long lasting winter i don't know what continental means as climates are customized for each map you'll experience significant differences between maps that fall into the continental group i still don't really understand that each map features unique weather, which changes with the simulation. You can encounter various intensities of rainy weather, different cloud coverage, temperature changes, etc. Because they keep emphasizing how each map will have a unique climate and unique weather, I really want to understand how this works. Like, is it based off of Earth? Like, are they literally taking weather data from Earth and using that to like decide what, what areas have what climate or what? We already know this, but citizens prefer to stay indoors on cold or rainy days and they enjoy outdoor activities more during sunny days. Temperature affects energy consumption, we know that. Time and seasons. One cycle through day and night equals one month, and each season lasts about three months. One year in the game, taking 12 in-game days. The length of the day-night cycle is based on the map's climate and current season, with nights being longer during the winter. As the sun sets, the building lights and street lights come on, lighting the way for citizens. I think this makes a lot of sense, the way they're handling time. I'm really curious to see how it feels when you're actually playing the game. And now we have confirmed rush hours, which I think I'm trying to think, did we have that in City Skylines 1? I can't remember. I think we did get information on that during the traffic AI video. It's a while ago. Seasons affect more than just the amount of sunlight in a day. Temperature can change over the course of the year. So does chance of rain and cloud coverage. During cold months, snow falls and covers the ground of maps with climates that include cold seasons. I'm guessing that there's going to be some sort of tropical variation. I don't know if this falls under continental, but tropical, of course, wouldn't really have a cold season. When there is snow, then road maintenance building snow plows take care of excess snow on the roads, keeping up the road condition to reduce the risk of accidents. And then, of course, southern hemisphere experience seasons at the opposite times of year compared to northern hemisphere. Some of these screenshots are super, super good. I love seeing the snow but in the video i felt like we were looking at older gameplay footage it just felt like the graphics quality was not as high like the textures were not as good 
Game speed is adjustable with three speed options as well as the option to pause at any time. When the game is playing at normal speed, the in-game day, in day is a bit over an hour in real life. At the highest speed, the in-game day is one third of the normal speed in real life. Okay, so like 20 minutes. Of course, we're also getting natural disasters in the base game. I know some people are super, super excited about this. Some people are not. I personally think because we can turn it off, great. Uh, it's not an expansion pack, so we don't have to pay extra to have it. And then we still get the option of using it or not. So I think that's really cool. Natural disasters are logged in the event journal, which shows you past events in chronological order and information about what happened, when it happened, and what outcome the event had. That's kind of cool. Let's see if there's anything new. Forest fires. Dry weather has a higher risk of a forest fire breaking out. So it's cool that the weather actually does impact this. This is kind of like what I expected, but it's nice to see them actually like let us know. Already that looks kind of cool the way the fire is looking. We're not seeing smoke yet, so I'm curious what it looks like when it's really, really, really bad. Hailstorms cause physical damage to buildings, but don't destroy them. And the damaged buildings need to be repaired, so that's really cool. I think having more like risky business, I guess, <laughs> affecting our cities is much more realistic. We had tornadoes before too. Of course, we get shelters, early disaster warning system. And this is what they look like. And I'm gonna be honest, I've never really seen a tornado in real life. Although I have in my head like the image of the swirly smoke. So I don't know if this is like the final look of the tornado, if it looks realistic or not, or if they're gonna change it, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm not like a super fan of how it looks. It doesn't like read as a tornado to me, but I mean, I also don't really care i guess it's like fine and that's it and that's all that they're gonna talk about in this okay so we're gonna watch the video but i just would like to point out that even though this is the seasons climate and seasons dev diary they have not shown a single photo in the fall season as far as i'm aware it only seems to be either summer or spring and winter not fall and i don't know if y'all remember but they did mention that trees now have a life cycle so when we plant trees we'll see them grow and, and mature and it makes me think that they have not finished that part of development and therefore also have not finished like leaves turning red and falling off something just doesn't seem to add up here with like not showing every season so that does make me a little disappointed i mean we are still gonna get autumn obviously but i would like to know what it's gonna look like so I guess let's move on to the video and then we'll chat more about it. Life in a thriving city can be a whirlwind. Sunny moments of joy and laughter can cloud over as stormier times roll in. It's impossible to forecast. Luckily, the weather in your city will be more predictable as each map has a unique climate with reliable seasonal patterns. Maps in City Skylines 2 are inspired by real-world locations, so your city's climate will be unique to that place. The climate dictates how each of the four seasons looks and feels. As one season gives way to the next, the length of the day will change. The amount of sunshine and cloud cover will too. Temperatures will vary, and so will precipitation. Why is this so important? Well, weather will impact your city in different ways. Rainy, snowy, and sun-soaked days can pile pressure on your electricity grid. Same for city services, which will need to respond. Like in winter, road maintenance crews power up plows to clear the road network of snow before it causes collisions. If city services don't respond in time or do what needs to be done, accident rates can rise with the knock-on effect of overstretching emergency crews. Seasonal weather also affects how people move around your city and where they spend their time. Parks will draw crowds when the sun is out, while restaurants, movie theaters, and other indoor spots will get busy fast when it rains. Of course, extreme seasonal weather can turn life upside down in a flash. You can help your city prepare for natural disasters with disaster control systems, but there's no stopping them. Your city might experience disasters with a lowercase d. That's when disasters cause traffic accidents that clog road networks. Disasters with a capital D are a whole lot more serious. They impact city services and the local economy in the short and long term. As a city builder, it's up to you to help your city bounce back when nature is a bit extra. But for the most part, seasonal changes will be predictable. Winter will run its course and give way to spring, just as night will follow day. The day and night cycle connects to the calendar. When a day-night cycle ends, one calendar month will have passed. So every 24 hours, a month of the year will have come and gone. The seasons will change after three cycles. And after 12 cycles, it's time to start all over again. 
The citizens of your city will experience life's highs and lows like the shifting seasons. Good times and bad will come and go. By building your city's unique climate, you can create the backdrop for life lived to its fullest. As you just saw, we still don't get autumn footage in the video. This really doesn't feel like the final graphics. Every Well, this is fine. But a lot of the shots look like relatively low resolution. That's a cool map. I think this looks great. The weather does look great. I just want to see fall. Like, come on, show us fall. Oh, let me turn off the captions. I really need to get a mouse pad. I'm like dragging my mouse and it's so loud under my mic. See, we're only just getting snow. Let's see if there's anything here we can look at. It says spring here. I really feel like none of these, there was one shot I think that said fall or autumn or whatever, but it was in the white overlay, so we couldn't actually see it. That looks like a road maintenance truck. Same with this one. Or snowplow, I guess, for this one. Something about this just still reads like early build to me. Um, I like that the weather impacts traffic accidents. I do think we knew this already. This is go really goofy, the, the way these guys look. They all look a little off. I kind of hope the character models are still going to be polished for release. I would also like to point out that this umbrella is fully see-through. Like, it doesn't... Where's the rest of the mesh? Like, it doesn't have another side. That's why I still feel like these are early builds. The lightning's cool. This is so bizarre and like I saw this when I first watched it and then after watching the video before like recording I watched um, Biffa and Egg's video on this and everyone's been noticing these guys just walking the side of the highway like I don't know what the deal oops oh my gosh YouTube's being weird today. I don't know what the deal is with these this ladies walking her two dogs on the highway like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's the tornado. I just don't know how I feel about that. Loving how we have weather damage. Buildings, it does look like these are snow covered cars, but I'm not really seeing snow on the buildings or on the streets or parking lots or trees. I feel like that must be on its way, right? Like this can't be the final way that like winter looks in the game because not enough was actually covered by it. Snow, still there's no snow on the trees. I guess that's summer. We're not seeing fall. I'm gonna harp on this. It's the one big thing I have to say about this Dev Diaries. We're not seeing fall. I think this looks great, the Aurora Borealis. They literally cycle through the seasons, but then don't show us fall. I think it is really funny how these people like run across the street as soon as it starts raining. This is an earlier build. We're not seeing a guy on this motorcycle, which means that it was at least before they added people on motorcycles. That looks really nice. I mean, I think the sky graphics look so beautiful. There really wasn't much to say today, but yeah, like, I don't know, where's fall? This doesn't feel ready yet. And I don't mean that like we necessarily have any reason to concern. Like they still have a couple months, September, wait, August, September, October. They have like two and a half months to just get this done before it releases. But it does feel like the climate and weather dev diary came sooner than they were like ready for it. I feel like the structure of the feature highlights release makes sense in terms of the information that they're sharing and how they're building on everything, but it does feel like maybe the feature highlights are coming faster than the devs are able to work because we have not seen any fall. I really can't tell if we're looking at spring or summer in the videos. I think they might've mentioned which one it was, but we're not really seeing the variation. Like I'm not seeing more flowers in spring, for example. We are only seeing like maybe one or two climates. We haven't seen a tropical place. We haven't seen a desert. We're seeing like temperate and polar, I guess. It just feels like the least substantial feature highlight. The most anticipated new feature for City Skylines 2 for sure, but it definitely, I definitely think we're gonna get more on release or like in an update, hopefully. We will get more in the next video they put out this week. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Bye.